What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo and this is the APA Season 5 Week 3 episode of The Locker Room. The San Francisco Giant Days are team building for Leo uh, the and the Durham Drudagons. So uh, let's get right into this battle because we're on a little bit of a time crunch. We're about to battle. I told him I'd, be, I'd have this done in 15 minutes so you guys gotta hold me to that. So uh, let's hop right into the team builder here. This week we are bringing the Remix, Z-Drive, 2 Chains, Apple Teeny, Lady Gargar, and Marshmallow. Uh, let's get started with the Remix. I think it's going to be important in this battle for a couple of reasons. Uh, actually, before I go like a little specific on my team, let's kind of talk about my opponent's team, which is right up here. So, starting that off, um, I have it tiered again as I kind of do. But with a little caveat here that I think literally any of his mons could come. Uh, and I think there's just like some slight likelihood here and there. So, um, Greninja, Skuntank, Chandelure, Mega Gallade, Swampert, Tapu Koko, Tangrowth, Bronzong, Licky Licky, Rabombi, and Landorus Incarnate. So remember, it's not like 1 to 11 that I think in likelihood. I've just kind of got this, this tier system going on. The top three, they're dark types, they're ghost types, they're pretty good against a, uh, a mono-psychic team. Um, and then Gallade, I think, is very likely bring Mega Gallade because it's it's got great speed, uh, for a massively offensive Mon. I actually, the fastest Mon on my team that I have multiple base 100s, and he's got a base 101, a base 110, a base 122, 124, and 130. So he's definitely got me on the speed game, which is why I have Rabombi on the lower end. Uh, the reason I have Landorus down there is because uh, I don't really know what exactly he would use it for. It's not that it's not a good bring, it is. It's got an amazing speed tier and it's got really good coverage, uh, but it it doesn't, like there's, there's not really something about it that je ne sais pas, you know, like I don't, like if it comes it's just because it's a super solid mon and I'm sure it'll do very well, but I don't see a special reason to bring it. Unlike Gallade, which for example, can switch into the stab of almost everything uh, and requires some uh, pretty unique coverage on some of my mon in order to take it out. Coverage that's not particularly good against some of his other mon, especially the big three at the top, which I'm almost positive are coming. Just because they are amazing offensive mons, they can threaten my team really well. I just think it's really likely that they come. If one of those three don't come, maybe it's Skuntank. But I, even Skuntank I think is a really good bring. Looking at the other, the next five mons other than the top four that I've said, I couldn't put them all on one line, but I think um, Coco, I think great speed tier, uh, good power. I don't have a particularly good electric switch in, not that I have bad ones, but just uh, there's not like an amazing option for me for it so i think it's a good offensive bring so i think that's likely and then swampert tangrowth bronzong and licky licky are just bulky and fat and it's kind of going to depend on what he's afraid of offensively because the swampert is it, it would be the like kind of obvious bring against say like as a defensive option for say apple teeny but it doesn't really have reliable recovery so it'll get whittled pretty quickly tangrowth is very bulky uh and but and maybe with an aka berry it's like a check for victini but i i don't really think it it's a great option for that bronzong could also be fireproof um I think, it, I think you can be fireproof Aka Berry too and like really tank it. And it also resists naturally my stab in Psychic. Not that I'm bringing that, but that's an option too. Licky Licky, I don't know, it's fat. It can learn knock off, so that's good too. As I mentioned, I just, uh, Rabombi, I don't really see what it, like it has bug. So it could just be like specs with bug. Again, I'm not saying like 
this mon is not coming. I just, <laughs> there's like a lot. Um, there's just, there's just a lot for it to, for it to contend with. So that's just kind of how I got my tiering going on. I'm dead serious. Anything could come. I think maybe now that I'm looking at it, I guess it's possible that Licky Licky should be below. There's just better offensive options there, but it's a cleric and maybe he's got a different end game um, than I'm kind of anticipating here. The beauty of what I'm looking at on his team is that I'm not super nervous about any particular setup. And I, I swear this is going to be like famous last words as I get swept by a Quiver Dance Rabombi or something. But like looking at it realistically, you know, Rock Polish Landorus can be very annoying. Remix is a good Landorus switch in, Landorus INT, so maybe that'll be um, good for me. I guess this is a good transition into like what team I'm bringing though. So Remix uh, is pretty good against his team actually. It'll be it's a good switch into Chandelier since in con uh, in conjunction with Marshmallow. Um, once I kind of know what item and what set the Chandelure is bringing, I'm actually in a pretty good shape here because it's stab. Um, Shadow Ball won't work against Marshmallow because it's normal type. And it's Fire Stab won't work against Remix because it'll be able to trace his um, Flash Fire. And I, I'm pretty sure he goes Flash Fire over something that would make Remix an answer to him because Remix is just going to be Scarfed out, speed him, and click Shadow Ball or whatever I want anyway. So I don't. I think he does go Flash Fire here because it gives him a V Create switch in on Apple Teeny. Uh, so I so I do think that's that's the case there, and so that kind of makes Apple Teeny not an amazing, super early game offensive option for me. Remix also is uh, good because it resists Greninja's stab, so Greninja's gonna have to carry something for itself if he wants it to be able to be somewhat safe against Ditto, uh, and he needs to assess what possible Mr. Phone you're going on silent. Uh, needs to assess what possible things he can kind of handle there. Similarly, uh, Skuntank is kind of decent against, uh, not very good against Skuntank. And Gallade is kind of not great against Gallade. Like, a lot of his Mons remixes relatively safe uh, to switch into their stab moves. And then it's just going to become, do you have something coverage-wise for yourself? Because so many of his Mons, their stab are just not good against themselves. And... You know, it, it can go the exact opposite way, like dragons are good against themselves, things like that. But looking at it like, I'm not worried about Bronzong's Gyro Ball, I'm not worried about, like, the, uh, the Landorus at all. Like, I have a lot of options. There should be plenty of opportunity for Ditto to kind of get in, scout something, uh, and be be that switch that I need it to be in certain situations. Remix is not a win con for me. I'm not anticipating that he's going to be blasting me with setup, so it's not going to be on his agenda to get a quick kill on Ditto. So I think he'll play around it safely. Uh, and that gives me just lots of scouting opportunities to try and figure out what's going on with some of his mons. So that's that plan. Z Drive, the weakness policy agility set running Stab and Earthquake. I'm super pumped to use this, to be honest. It is not good against Bronzong, except that the Bronzong, if it comes, I really think is going to be heat proof. And so if I am put into a situation like that, I might stay in and click Earthquake on it. I think Z Drive has like quite a lot of natural bulk. I gave him some enough HP stat as well. Once I get a um, a boost uh, from that 109 uh, based speed, I get to 218, which will outspeed everything on his team as well as a Choice Scarf Chandler by one point. Uh, choice Scarf Chandler can hit to 217. So Obviously, anything faster than that that's scarfed 
I don't know that he'll do that unless he's literally building it to speed tie itself against Ditto. I don't really see anything else there uh, getting scarfed above above the Chandelier. I don't see why he would scarf Lando I. I don't know why he'd scarf Gallet. I don't know why he'd scarf anything above 100 unless he just really wants it to be able to outspeed Scarf Victini. Possible. All possible. Um, but I'm going to kind of have to see based on the team comp that I see from him. Moving on, we've got uh, we've got two chains here. Two chains is running a mixed bulky set. He's running knockoff, U-turn, thunder wave, and stealth rock. I'm not sure why I'm bold. <laughs> That's an oversight. I was supposed to be negative special attack. That's unfortunate, but I already got my team traded, so I'm not going to do anything about that now. I'll just have to suffer with the like 10% less damage or something. I'm running Colberberry on this. I really would like it to be a decent uh, answer to knockoff since it is one of my bulkier Pokemons. I can exchange knockoffs with things, U-turn for momentum. I can Thunder Wave something quick. Uh, this makes me relatively decent lead option, although depending on kind of what I see, I might lead Remix against this team just to really get an immediate scout. Uh, Thunder Wave, I think, will be really good against his team. Stealth Rock is uh, a good option for me as well. So I'm. Uh, this is a good. This is a good lead option. This might bait potentially some lead options for him. Uh, so I'm. I just I wanted something. I wanted a rocker. I wanted that middle groundish kind of mon that can really just deal with things kind of set up for some of my offensive mons to win later. Moving on, we have Apple Teeny also running a Colber Berry with Flame Charge, Energy Ball, Bolt Strike, and B Create. I think if I start uh, pushing out Energy Balls early, then if he brings Swampert, which is definitely one of his potential brings to counter Victini, then... Um, Dropping an energy ball like as my first click as a predicted Swampert comes in will likely pop a Rindo because I think there's a good chance if he does come that he does run Rindo since um, Swampert's a really good answer to Victini in general Resist the V create uh, Immune to the bolt strike, which is like the most common add-on ever uh, So I think he knows that grass can come and so energy ball is likely Flame Charge, just so I can set up a little speed against something. I didn't really... Looking at the fourth move there, I didn't really feel like there was something particularly necessary. One of the things I was considering was whether or not it made sense to have something like Shadow Ball, which would make it good against a Fireproof Bronzong, but then I realized I didn't really need it, simply because even with Fireproof, V Create just does a lot to Bronzong, and over time I think it would be okay. Uh, it would have been a good option in theory against the Chandelier, except that Bolt Strike does more damage anyway, just because Chandelier's got pretty poor defense. So that was the reasoning behind that. Um, the speed is set up to 146, and that means that I outpace a max speed, a max speed timid Chandelier, and after a Flame Charge, I'll outspeed it uh, a Scarf Chandelier as well. So that was the thinking there. Lady Gargar is another choice Scarfer with Trace. Um, this I like because it makes me... If I switch in on Landorus, I can be particularly dangerous with the Psychic Moonblast and Shadow Ball options. I can... Um, potentially wall the... Depending on its set and I can also use it to scout this, I can potentially wall the... Um, what am I doing? Ah! Why was I saying? Oh yeah, um, it's a good option for the Chandelier because Flash Fire, again, um, just like Remix, copying that Flash Fire makes it a decent answer to that. Of course, yes, uh, Shadow Ball is good against, uh, good against me, but I should be able to outspeed it and take it out with a Shadow Ball. Uh, it's definitely a kill roll if I've gotten any amount of chip damage on it at all. It... <sighs> there was something else, and I'm kind of not really remembering what it was now. 
I mean, it's it's a decent switch into the Tang growth as well, just because the Trace gives me Regenerator. I do potentially lose my Choice Scarf there, which is only really an issue if Chandelure comes or is still alive, if it did come. Uh, but I have lots of options with it. I like the speed control options it grants me. Psychic Moon Blast Shadow Ball is really good against his team in general. I really need that Moon Blast. The Moon Blast is going to be huge. His only real Moon Blast answers are... Chandelure, kind of, and Bronzong. So we'll have to see what that is. Uh, and then Marshmallow. I'm not going to lie, the team is sort of built around Marshmallow. Uh, Normalium Z Heal Bell... Calm Mind, Hyper Voice, Shadow Ball. So the, the Normalium Z works for Hyper Voice or Heal Bell. Heal Bell basically turns into a full restore with Normalium Z if people aren't sure what Z Heal Bell does. Hyper Voice Shadow Ball is um, just good for his entire team. The two mons that are cool with Hyper Voice would be the Ghost and the Steel type. And both of them are... Um, don't super appreciate the Shadow Ball. Calm Mind is something I can kind of just pump up against the Bronzong um, because I am pretty defensively invested. So if he's choosing to go for, say, a Gyro Ball against me, he's going to realize pretty immediately it does not do that much damage. At one point, Heal Bell was sub and I didn't have Normalium Z, I had Lefties. But I wasn't liking the amount of investment I had to put in to make it that the sub wasn't broken by the Gyro Ball or by a knockoff from Licky Licky or by a Seismic Toss from Licky Licky, which you can get to. You can get to a point with Marshmallow at level 50, in level, all right, even in level 100 meta, you can get to a point where Seismic Toss won't break sub. Um, but I... I I think Licky Licky is less likely bring than the other bulky options there, so I didn't really feel like it was necessary. Uh, the speed investment makes me outspeed a maximum speed modest Chandler, um, but obviously it won't outspeed anything faster than that. This is a good, once I get set up, Chandler doesn't scare me. Um, I'm probably going to be a lot more comfortable around that Greninja if I can get a Calm Mind or two up. It's just a matter of finding the opportunity to do it. I'll be transparent here. I don't feel like when it comes to boosting Mons, I don't feel like Calm Mind is the one that I'm best at. I'm much better at assessing, like, do I have the speed? And if the speed tier here to get the win, have I scouted the, his speed control options and his priority options? okay boost attack and then let's go so like i've done really well in the past with swords dance users and dragon dance users the ones that boost bulk and attack at the same time i feel like i've never really done that well with but we'll see if all that changes so that's the marshmallow and that's the full team builder and you guys didn't hold me to it i ended up taking 18 minutes i hope leo's cool uh let's go get into this battle and i'll see you guys in that battle. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys tomorrow.